the relationship that you hear about from the graduates was real. It was just like home, really. And there were no little people at Dunbar. Dunbar was a segregated campus, and their focus was to make sure every student succeeded up to their level and beyond. We had the most awesome staff of teachers and paraprofessionals all the way down to the custodians that influenced every aspect of our lives. When we were at Dunbar, to be kept after school, we knew in our hearts and in our heads that that teacher was taking additional time and we spe felt special. That was special for that teacher to take time with us so we could learn. I grew up in a time when the teachers were partners with our parents. You excel. You never allow anybody to say what you can't do. And you do your very best all of the time. We had a care for you. I told one young kid that we had a care for you. I think it was around by nine o'clock. And if you wasn't in, uh, you, you, you had to pay the price. And Red, Red didn't need a key to your door. <laughs> He'd come in there and see if you was there. <laughs> My teachers there elevated learning to the point where I too wanted to share learning with others for the rest of my life. Everyone was special and everyone's needs were met or tried to be met. And without the support of the black community and the staff there, I don't think I would have become the person I was today. We had state championships in typing. We had, had state championships in speech, um, literary uh, diagrams, uh, drama. A lot of the students focused on the public speaking and the debate. Uh, so we had state championships there. I mainly was involved in music singing in the choir. I played tennis, and I was a cheerleader for those Dunbar State champions. They don't play the ball like we played back in the day. When we were at Dunbar, and we did excellent work, we were applauded. When those kids got over here and they did excellent work, they were questioned. The kids that had played uh, uh, quarterback and key positions, they were sit on the bench. Last fall, we were given a generous donation uh, with the intention of having our Lufkin football team bring the Dunbar jerseys Back to the field, we wanted to honor all the achievements of Dunbar High School, and uh, us and the kids both felt like that was the best way to do this. We wanted them to experience what it, what it was for, not just putting the jersey on and doing something because we asked them to do that. It was very, it was very strong emotionally wise, like seeing all the Dunbar alumni smiles and stuff, how they like when they walk, we walk down them Dunbar jerseys. Well, it was really exciting and uh, expected to see my great grandson, you know, wanting to represent his great granddad at school. It was cool just to represent and knowing that all the history that Dunbar has left for us, all the winning aspects, all the plays and all the just like teaching stuff about the next generations just left. It just felt good to finally show them some respect and recognition they needed. Lufkin can really become 
the ideal place to affect change in all of these other little small towns that have pushed their schools down. Dunbar is a part of us. We are a part of this community. We want forever to be represented and recognized. Dunbar, looking back now, I think has brought a great legacy forward to our communities and other communities simply because of the people that it produced and the teachers that made that happen. We have to have some brick and mortar to where people can go back to. And that's why they erected statutes and things so people could have something to go back to. I think Dunbar is really like a statue. It is a monument.